Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. My name is Jess the Mess, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. I'm so excited to get back to this game. Last game we played, we discovered what the snow globe was for and figured out that we were being judged not only by fate, but by our friend Lady Pointon and a very judgmental snow globe that sometimes gives me very bad results that I don't understand. But we're about, I would say, halfway through the game. I believe the calendar that we bought last game ends at 28 days, and we're going to be starting day 14 here. So we'll see what happens. So without any further ado, I am going to get into this game. Here we go. All right, so we were down here at Mortimer's. I believe we already started a new day, so I think, yes, we can go to work. All right, so one thing I did notice last game with the money over here is that it does seem like if you don't follow the rules exactly, you do get less money, but you're still getting money nonetheless. If you remember last game, I stopped following the rules to an extent. I'm trying to still kill the amount of people that they said, but the other parameters around it, I'm not necessarily following. So if it says you have to spare all the lawyers, if the lawyers aren't the best people, or I don't think they're going to help our little snow globe here. I'm gonna spin that around. Oh, there we go. Okay, so see, we're starting on a pretty good note here. We've got all positives. We're gonna keep it that way. Maybe, we'll find out. So let's get started. Let's look at Cocker first. So let's see what we got. Animistic cult turns into an environmental group. Oh, okay. So maybe that's because I saved the cult girl that I was supposed to kill. I think that was the last one I did. I, if I remember right, she was against whipping, which I thought maybe she'll be the one to change the cult because it said she likes nature, but she doesn't like the whipping. Yay! Okay, I feel good about that. Um, local technician introduces new exciting soldering techniques that may change the whole world. Pretty good. Chemist uses experimental anti-aging drug on themselves, grows younger until finally ceases to exist. See, I think it gave me a negative on that last time we played, because I, I killed the woman who was trying to develop, like, eternal life. So see, maybe it did work out, even though it temporarily looked negative in the snow globe. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. A recent tragedy proves once and for all, your cats will definitely eat you when you die at home. I don't doubt that. I have a dog. I still like cats, but I'm allergic to cats, so I haven't owned a cat since I was like four. And I had two, Smittens and Spanky. One was nice, one was not. I'll let you try to figure out which one was which. Um, another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. And genetically modified crops proven to be a hoax. Use all natural fertilizers. Okay, I feel like those last two are the ones we have to pay attention to. The family in poverty because of marketing schemes and no genetically modified crops. So let's see, it is day 14. Let's see what fate says here. Oh, we gotta move some stuff. We'll put the snow globe right there next to my wood. I love that part in the Grinch when he's like, I've come to accept my award. That, I did not do that right. Let's see. Morning, Grim. I expect you in my office for your performance review once you are done today. Do not worry about that right now. Focus on the task at hand. Uh-oh, I haven't been following the rules. Quota for the day, five humans have to die. Anyone related to the transportation industry has to die and choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle. Wait, choose humans to live or choose humans to die? I feel like that was not specified on purpose. Choose humans to die? Okay, so let's just, I'm gonna do this right away. Okay, so we're gonna move these guys over here and I'm gonna say that was the left and that's the right. So let's look at these guys first. I'm supposed to kill five. So like I said, I still think I'm gonna kill five. It's just, we'll see if I listen to this whole transportation industry and left side of the bundle stuff. So let's start on the right side of the bundle. Mahala is a rising star in the culinary world. 
vicariously executing the head chef's will with an iron fist and a brass mouth. Their workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. Okay, so maybe that wouldn't be a bad one. We'll put that over there. Stanislav Durov, 31, a typist. Stanislav works at Cosmopolis City Courthouse. They have few goals in life other than becoming the world's fastest typist. Already their fingers run across a keyboard like bolts of lightning, but they feel there's more that can be achieved. Okay, so far, again, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill the left side or save the left side, so we'll find out. Elias Sarazin, 27, cook. Elias chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent and stable job. Good food is always needed. Very true. Aside from cooking, they enjoy long treks through nature and mountain climbing. Okay, that sounds nice. So far, none of these people are transportation related, which is supposed to die. Okay. And Ahmad Zakaria, 46, farmer inventor. Ahmad has never been happy with the status quo, as in with whatever they currently happen to have. They're always aiming higher and further, experimenting in various different fields in order to find new ways for even more productive crops. Okay, I feel like he should die because we just read about that. So, die. Ah, shoot. How is that negative though? How's that negative for the house? Maybe because he was an inventor? I don't know. All right, well, that's one of them. Let's go to these guys. Okay, this is transportation industry. Augustus Zagzima, 44, taxi driver. Augustus dreams of becoming a millionaire, but is also content with being a taxi driver. Their cab is decorated from hood to trunk, featuring several disco balls, aquarium wallpaper, and subwoofers playing techno rave on full blast. Okay, I feel like I probably should kill Augustus because it sounds like there's a lot of distractions in that taxi, and maybe they could be too distracting that it causes an accident. So I feel, I feel pretty good, but I only have four deaths left, so I'll leave it for now. Okay. Z Zidian Wainwright, 35, school bus driver. Oh. Oh, this could be bad. Uh-oh. Zidian drives children to and from schools every day. Although it seems like a job that requires responsibility, they're usually pretty lax about it. Sometimes partaking in soft narcotics before getting behind the wheel. They say it makes them focus better. Okay, this seems like a double-edged sword because if I kill him, he'll probably crash the bus and that will kill innocent people. And if I don't kill him, he might still crash the bus because he's doing narcotics. So, don't do drugs, kids. Anyway, this seems like there's no good choice, so we'll put him there. Okay, Blaze Masterson, aged 43, helicopter pilot. Blaze works as the Prime Minister's personal helicopter pilot. They love flying so much, they fly around all day, even when their employer doesn't need to go anywhere. All the money for fuel is taken from taxpayer funds. Okay, so him, I don't, I'm less worried about killing, even though it'll probably happen in the air, because it says he likes to fly around all day, even when his employer is not flying. So hopefully, if I kill him, there's nobody else in the helicopter. Okay, then this isn't transportation, but it is on the left side. Europa Steel 37 Recruiter. Europa is a top gun at many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from super juices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their everyday recruitment pitch with, it's not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing in dozens of naive people every week. All right, that seems like a pretty easy die. <gasps> oh, look! Okay, put her in my death pile. Look! I got a bigger house! Look at my cool white house with my red roof. It matches my little skeleton getup. Okay, happy, happy with that choice. And let's see, last one. Kamala Altamont, 36, robotics engineer. Kamala has been into robotics ever since their parents gifted them a mechanical construction set for their seventh birthday. They used to work at the Space Exploration Agency designing robot rovers to be sent to other planets. They're an avid fan of violent action films. Okay, so we gotta kill five, and I'm technically supposed to kill anybody in the transportation industry. So, 
Let's kill the helicopter pilot. I feel like that's the right choice. Okay, no effect. So that's good. I only have to kill two more. These were the ones on the left. Let's look back at these guys. Okay, let's save the cook. It doesn't seem like he's doing anything bad. Oh! Oh, I opened the drawer with my pen. Look, though, I think that helped the people. I have more people standing now. That's good. Um, I wonder... Oh, is that guy coughing blood here, though? With a bag. I don't know exactly what that means, but that seemed like a good choice, so... Good choice there. What did I say? I have to kill two more. So let's look at these guys. Okay, world's fastest typist. He doesn't seem like he's doing any harm. Okay. Oh, I keep opening my money. My money drawer. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything, which is fine. And then we've got Mahala, who they dream of her tragic demise. I don't know if I want her to be one of my deaths, so I have to kill two, save two. Okay, I think I'm gonna kill the taxi driver. Okay, that seemed like the right choice. And I need to kill one more, and it should technically be the school bus driver. But I don't know how I feel about that. Let's save the robotics engineer. Oh. Oh, achievement unlocked benefactor. I don't know what that means. It had the little blue pluses, and it had health, so maybe that has to do with these guys. Like, maybe I've made a lot of good choices to save those guys. Okay, so let's go here, and now let's figure this out. I know I'm supposed to kill the school bus driver. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. But then I'm breaking the rules. What if I... S what if I say the... But they say they're lax about their job, which I don't... Okay, I did it. Okay. It doesn't look like it really changed anything. I'm pretty sure these guys were still down. I think I'm gonna get in trouble about that, but that's okay. But that means I have to kill the sous chef, which I'm fulfilling her worker's dreams. Okay. I'd say overall that went pretty well. We're good. There was only the one that seemed a little bit confusing that hurt. Oh, and I got a house. I lost my train of thought of what I was thinking. There only seemed to be one that hurt the piece, and I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe that was the rovers on other planets, which it did say she was into violent action in the film, so maybe I should have taken that as a sign. Let's see what fate thinks. <laughs> I have returned. Did you miss me? Not really. I really liked Lady Pogton. And my gerbil toy's gone, so I don't know where that went. Um, not really. Sure, I like our chats. I'm just here to work. Thanks to gods, I was really getting tired of that cat. Sure, I like our little chats. Great. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. Hmm. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. Here we go. But before that... We must quickly check your oh, daily conduct. This is where I might get in trouble about the whole bus driver thing. Hmm. Where did I place those papers? Please. Where are you? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Right. Seems to be correct. Or okay. Whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Yay! Okay, so see, maybe those secondary things don't matter as much as I thought they did. Hmm. I would say I've been pretty great thus far. Is there a problem? Wait patiently. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. What would you say? In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. I, I started breaking the rules. I'm a rebel. You don't know me, fate. There is little to criticize in your conduct. Hmm. Except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. You mean I don't think on my own, but the rules are there for a reason. What else am I supposed to of do? Of course. Great care goes into calculating the equilibrium. But 
But is that all that matters? No. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. I have rebelled. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? Yes. You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? No. I I killed the, I didn't kill the bus driver like I was supposed to. Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. So does that mean I don't get another one week evaluation? I have been rebelling. Does this mean I'm stuck on some like neutral? Ooh, that's a lot of money. But does this mean I'm in like a neutral run? I have been breaking the rules. Maybe I should not listen to the whole however many deaths thing. Oh, Mortimer's not even, Mortimer, do you wanna? Say anything to me? I guess not. Let's see, do I get the cactus? Why is the cactus so expensive? Oh, I guess this is also expensive, but that's clothing. This is a widget. Maybe I'll buy my cactus widget. Why not? Face your eyes upon this spiky ball. There's my boy. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of cacti, just to get me phalanges on one of these. Finally, unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. Mub. It did not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. Ooh. You never see it move, but boy, does it get around. <laughs> Can my cactus move around? Oh, now I'm excited about my cactus. From the great land of cacti. Oh, there he is. Okay, up to bed. I'm insulted by fate telling me I only follow the rules. Is that like a ghost? Or is he just, I guess he's just walking through them. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Maybe I need to rebel a little more. My money. I only got one. And here's my cactus. Oh. Start a base thing. You can tell I've done a lot of DJing work. Intense debates ensue as freelance engineer unveils custom design combat robots with extensive weapon attachments. Oh, that's why it hurt the piece. I see now why it hurt the piece. MLM recruiter demonstrates company's flagship super juice, Poison Self. Again, karma. Look at this complete idiot farmer who got crushed by their own tractor. He was trying to do the plants though that were dangerous. Young cook discovers new healthy way of preparing food, doctors amazed. City budget experiences unexpected surplus, politicians baffled, nice. School bus driver under investigation after crashing bus with kids in it, fortunately we're going at incredibly slow speeds at the time. There we go. See, so maybe, Maybe that would have happened no matter what. Maybe that's one of those that would have happened no matter what. Okay. Challenger at the Swiftest Typist World Cup types so fast they accidentally break a finger. Tragic death of sous chef. Two different types of poison found in the body. Cause of death hypothermia due to being locked in the freezer. That's pretty funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it was kind of funny. Locals light a bonfire made from car tires and aquarium wallpaper in memory of beloved cab driver. They were a gem of the neighborhood, comments local lady sobbing. Aw, at least you know you lived a good life when people miss you. Scientists discovered new strain of super tuberculosis. Okay, I feel like the last two are usually the ones we need to watch out for. And then cozy bohemian waffle house gaining popularity. Go check it out. I like that. Okay, so waffles and waffles and tuberculosis. We do not need any more pandemics, right? Right? Congratulations, Grimm. You have passed the performance review as expected, but let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Quota for the day, total of six humans have to die. At least three humans with a scientific background have to die, and at least two humans age 30 or younger have to die. Humans are so easily corrupted. 
good reaping fate. So I'm supposed to kill six out of eight, and I'm five of that, wait, five of them, or not five, three of them have a scientific background, two, 30 or younger. I might not listen to that though, because I was told I'm too attentive. Okay, so he's technically a science background, so technically he's supposed to die. Kenzo Omura, 28, astronomist. Kenzo is deeply intrigued by the universe and its mysteries, but doesn't enjoy leaving their hometown. They would never consider boarding a spaceship, but they love to look at the universe from the comfort of their own home. Having witnessed quite a few UFOs, they are slightly worried about the universe visiting us. Okay. Okay, technically he's supposed to die because he has a science background, but we'll see. Christopher Wyatt, 44, money launderer. Christopher opened a waffle house. Oh, this is the waffle house. Wait, Christopher opened a waffle house in the middle of the Cacti Valley. Like where my cactus is from? Oh, what does the cactus say? Because I pressed it so many times. That's funny. Look at the cute little cactus. Christopher opened a Waffle House in the middle of the Cacti Valley to have a reason to claim illegal income but avoid customers. When a hiker finds the place, which sometimes happens, Christopher starts sweating profusely and attempts to cook with 10-year-old ingredients. I feel like Christopher should probably die. Probably, but we'll see. I'm gonna go Ayasha Moore, 38, cosmologist. Ten years, Ayasha has spent gazing through a powerful telescope at the stars all across the universe. Bit by bit, they've become even more convinced that the whole world is actually some sort of a simulation, a realistic reproduction crafted in binary. That's a little weird, so we'll see. Tress, co Tress Collision. That's a really cool name. Tress Collision? That sounds like a character out of uh, Fast and the Furious. 36 Smuggler. There isn't a thing Tress won't smuggle in or out of the country. Whatever it is, they'll find a way. Drugs, guns, endangered animals, antiques, and artifacts, even people, they have no scruples, no hidden principles, die. Oh, that hurt my house though. Why'd that hurt my house? Oh well. All right, so that's one of my six deaths. Jerry Morell, 49, kidnapper? Jerry is a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is ambling near stadiums, wearing a cute mascot outfit, and swiping kids who want to take a photo. Okay, die. Yeah, I see no negatives to that. All right, that was easy. Seitaro Abe, 26, virologist. Sitaro is a grad student at a virology lab where their research is focused on studying tuberculosis. They edit the tuberculosis genome to see how the changes affect the bacteria. Sitaro dreams of working in a facility that has proper ventilation, unlike their current lab. Ooh. Oh, this could be bad, though. Because what happens if he unleashes it? Like, what if he accidentally creates it? Paul G. High, 26, non-commissioned officer. As if born to lead in tense situations, Paul enjoys being the backbone of the armed services. After completing several important missions during the Waskograd conflict, they've now moved on to training new recruits. They emphasize having a calm head and thinking things through. Okay, live. Ooh. That hurt the nature. Which isn't great. But it helped everything else, so okay, that's one lay of two deaths. And Jackson P. Ortega, 32, project manager. Jackson just doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, which all somehow end up failing. They used to be married, but nothing lasts forever. Their pet goldfish died in one day. Their bike always seems to have a flat tire, and this is just the beginning. Okay, I feel like might as well fill the rest. All right, so I'm supposed to kill three more. Let's see who we got and what we think. Okay, I liked the astronomist who was worried about UFOs, so they're gonna live. Okay, good choice. Let's see. Okay, this one, I don't know about the, these are the two that had the, 
the cocker. So I feel like they're important. Scientists discover a new strain of super tuberculosis. Ah. His current lab doesn't have proper ventilation, so I feel like he should die. Okay, die. Good, good. Okay, I would have spread the thing. So those guys are all dead. And then I got the cosmologist and the money launderer. Okay, I feel like, let's kill the money launderer. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, let's put the pen down for a second. I have like a glass skyscraper. If that doesn't show I'm making good choices, I don't know what is. Maybe if the tree grew. Oh, and look at my piece! I didn't even realize the bird's flying! Oh, I'm doing great! I feel pretty good. I'd like some less dead bodies, but we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Okay, so they died. Now, what do I want to do here? She seems kind of paranoid about the whole we're living in a simulation. But it's interesting. Dies. Oh, but it killed my house. It only lasts so long. My glass house lasted for a hot second. Okay, I feel like those were the correct choices. I feel confident with those. I think I made the best choices overall for the good of humanity. Let's see if fate agrees. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. Can't complain. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Things got really bad. I saw a lot of pain and suffering and being sick. I saw a lot of pain and suffering. It was sad. Mm, the anguish of existence. You're telling me. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Was the book always there? I think the book was always there. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. I did. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Mm. Oh well, what must be done? I didn't even mean to do the right amount. I just did it. Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? I'm not sure about the whole rebellion oh, thing. the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a... Metaphor. Mm. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. I'm gonna go. I'm still a bit unclear on the origin of the mean? rules. Do you pick what's supposed to happen and thus make it happen, or am I the one who actually picks and make things happen? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world and the people therein create the situations themselves without our interference. I don't think I believe that. Because if I hadn't killed the science guy, I think the tuberculosis would have spread. And that was me doing that, not just the world happening as it happens. Our data mongers assemble, collate, and examine wide swathes of data, and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. Okay. We do not directly cause death. Although our choices can modify the structure slightly. See, I agree with the first one. How can that be? If I mark profiles, don't these decisions affect other people? Hmm, in a sense. But this is certainly not a one-to-one -one sequence of causal links. I don't know if I believe him. You should consider. Time works a bit differently in here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anything else? How long is a day anyway? Ah, the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. Makes sense. I've heard that before, you know, time's not linear. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region. Don't insult my Cosmopolis city. It is a great place full of great people. Time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, 
Weeks, months may pass at different intervals. Okay. Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, oh. interlaced, within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. Ooh. That is why causal links are difficult to establish and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Ooh, what's my history? Was I someone? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. Where'd my parts come from? The store. And places. My lemons. I'm part lemon. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Do you play chess? I recall some film about death with tons of chess. No. I am instead particular to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent and imperialistic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nope, we are done. Oh, one more thing. It was nice of you to gift Lady the little gerbil. Aww. I am sure she appreciates it. Good, the best choice I've made all game. Although, personally, I am growing rather tired of the incessant squeaking. By the way, I noticed the toy behaving oddly, squeaking on yes. its own and all. What is odd about it? I mean, how can that be? But of course. Oh, I gave the cat a live gerbil. The toy is crafted with oh. magic, of course. It holds the essence of a living little beast inside that rubber core. Horrible. That you gave a sentient creature stuck inside an immortal body to a predatory animal? Well, a tad bit horrible, if you put it that way. Can I take the toy back? No. What is done is done. Ah. Have you not listened to me at all? Your actions have consequences. But I wanted to make Lady Paulington happy. Does that say a lot about me in this run? That I listened to the rules and I trapped a living creature inside a gerbil and gave it to the cat to make the cat happy. Aww. A loud squeak interrupts from somewhere behind the table. I'm sorry. <sighs> Until tomorrow, Grim. Grim? That one wasn't as weird, but still funny. All right. Got my 300 money. And let's go see what we got with Mortimer. Shiver me, Timber. Okay, I've seen all these. He sure can't get enough of the Emporium. That's right. Let's see. Eh, maybe I'll buy the coin for fun. It still leaves me 500, which is enough to get almost everything. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Ooh. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. That's cool. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike. And let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. Ooh. About half the civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then me crew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of Satellinor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. I love this music. All right, interesting. Very interesting. There's my coin, and there's my house. End the day, yes. All right, and going down. See if my coin does anything cool. There it is. Okay, cool. Let's see, we still got my bird flying away. People are doing pretty good. My house went down, and the tree looks pretty healthy. So we'll put him up there, and let's check out Cocker. So, local doctoral student dies after drinking lab disinfectant on a dare. For a doctoral student, that was very ill-advised. Man claims to have saved Earth from aliens. I bet you did, buddy. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Stadium officials confused. Good choice. Ringleader of trafficking ring mauled to death by a tiger they smuggled into the city. Have you guys seen Tiger King? I think I'm on episode three. It is wild. Like the fact that these people are real and that these are real things that have happened, it's insane. And I heard they're making like a scripted show of it with Kate McKinnon as Carol Baskin and I am pumped. Uh, 
um, officer to revise and update the military instruction guide to fit modern standards. And woman accidentally rams ex-husband with car. I'm not saying anything. All right, I only have four profiles. The rules. Look here, Grim. How about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? I have great faith in these techniques as more of a structural nature. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle must die. Yes, this may be the key of fate. Mm -mm, not unless they're the best people to die. Now he's, now he's just proving that all the rules were ridiculous and I shouldn't have been listening to them from the beginning. Ah. Now it makes me want to go back and like play it totally based on merit, which is why it's a great game. All right, so technically this person should die. Anna von Wolfenstein, 48 judge. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the bringing justice, but because of the political power the position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. Okay, maybe I should kill her. All right. Cesar Julianus, 48, unemployed. Cesar used to be a minor until their lungs got completely ruined by... I think that's pneumonia. I think that's a different, smarter way of saying pneumonia. Also known as black lung. Surprised that it still happens in this day and age? That's corporate cost cutting for you. Cesare now survives off their settlement money and medical pension. He already got so many bad cards. Alright. Yusuf Al Asta, 36, stay at home parent. Yusuf mostly stays at home raising their kid after the death of their spouse. It's been a rough going both mentally and physically, but they're making do thanks to the support network of friends and family. Live. Yeah. And lastly, this is the other person who should die. Caleb Saadi Rondau, 30, junior researcher. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Acedia Institution, where they have been researching strange experimental pathogens. The goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in human cell regeneration. It's a pretty dangerous job, as it oftentimes involves the use of very sharp instruments. Hmm. I know it's dangerous. I'm gonna say live. Yes! Okay, and I broke the rules. I'm a rebel. I swear, I'm a rebel. I'm not following the rules. Okay, I want him to live. Okay, good, nothing bad happened. And then the judge who likes power a little too much. Still. Okay. I managed, it. I think that was my first all positive snow globe round. And for good measure, kick my cactus. Yes. Confirm my choices. I feel very good about that. All positives. Very happy. What do you think of that thing? I didn't kill the right amount of people. Hmm. Grim, my fellow colleague. Oh, I have colleague been deliberating now. a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Okay. Should I become a writer? Uh -huh. I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique after all. I have much experience. Sure, why not? Why not? Indeed. Why not? Oh, okay, Lady Pollington's eyes are closed. I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Let's see. Ah, you have marked fewer profiles than necessary. Oops. No choice but to log a reprimand. It happens. It is already your third week here. I do not understand how this keeps happening. Because I'm my own person. The cat mutters a hypothesis. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. Okay. Okay. Zero money for me. We'll skip Mortimer just because I didn't get any money. I haven't seen anything new there. And even if there was, I probably couldn't afford it. So now, down to work. Uh, oh, 
Oh, there they are. I was like, I have no profiles. Let's read Cocker, since I have no money to put away. Oh, that's it. Human regeneration, just around the corner or just a pipe dream? And will the police finally do something about this highway menace? The police might not, but I will. All right. A fresh idea. Your performance of late implies you may not be as motivated as you ought to be. Well, to even out the number of humans, we will try another new structural method. You will be required to demonstrate utmost precision. Quota for the day, all the humans on the bottom have to die. Okay, that seems very unthought out. Okay, so I'm supposed to kill three, and it's supposed to be these three. So let's read about them. Azusa Melisiander, 35, clinical laboratory technician. What did the chemist say when they found two isotopes of helium? Hey, hey. Oh my goodness. It's just one of the jokes you can hear when working with Azusa. They annoy their co-workers with chemistry jokes all day, but can't be fired since they're incredibly good at their job. They're good at their job, and we're working for human regeneration. I'm thinking she's gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. She's gonna live. And that was a positive choice. Yes. Let's shake this up too. See, I'm already breaking the rules. Mabali Sefu, 41 nun. Obsessed with religion from a very young age, Mabali moved to the nunnery as soon as they turned 13. Whenever a stray thought of sin crosses their minds, they give themselves a good whipping as punishment. That's dark. Maybe, we'll see. I don't like the whipping thing. I'm gonna go... Ah! Oh, I should've known you can't kill a nun with peace. Darn it. Ah. Oh well. Zara Te Jihan, 38, Mason. Zara considers masonry a formidable art, a mixture of intricate design and impressive monumentality. They're convinced that Cosmopolis City needs to construct a proper city wall again. Okay, I think that sounds good. Yay, see? I fixed my problem from the, oh, but I hurt my house. Hurt my house. Nora Sophia Eto, 39, white collar criminal. Nora turned to regular embezzlement after their multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty product, the pre, the be, the beauty products and cognitive enhancers were just not selling. All this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their child in a decent school. Nora films claymation shorts in their spare time. Okay, didn't really do anything. I wonder if I should still kill three people though. Raven Kershid, 29 professional athlete. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In their spare time, they like to go hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's determination and wishes to continue in their footsteps. good about that. Alicia de Torville, 35 driver. Oh. Alicia's absolute is an absolute speed demon. They cruise at utterly ridiculous speeds all around Cosmopolis City, delivering miscellaneous packages to various people and companies. But their stoic demeanor and calm nerves, they could be an excellent rally driver. No. Bad. Yes. Okay. And lastly, Jewel Gray. 35 biochemist. Jewel was born in the countryside but moved to the big city to go to the university. They like rock concerts and bars, although their visits have fallen due to having substance abuse issues in the past. They're trying to find a cure for the chicken flu. Liz. Oh. Dang it. How did trying to find a cure for the chicken flu hurt nature? What ripple effect did that just have? All right, Faith's gonna be mad at me again. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. 
Okay. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? No. No, we need them. A system of mutual dependence. Yet we have some hold on the steer. I really don't see this line of thought going anywhere. Oh, never there we mind go. my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts on here, loyalty. Grim. Do you think this flows to one way? It doesn't seem fair because I've got basically no agency. Don't you think this flows Such to is one the way? Of loyalty. Hardly. You're just arrogant. Ha! <laughs> Grand. A reaper demanding its due. I have Moxie. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <laughs> live. See what I... Oh, cheer. Where is your sense of humor? I like most puns. Fate. Not one-sided puns, though. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Let's just say nothing and leave. We not... You don't need to know. You don't need to know. I don't need a, I don't need a reprimand. Maybe that's the key. Let's go check more and more at the beginning of the day and see how that's going. Batten down the hatch. Oh, a bow tie. There's a storm of sails. Huh, what is this? 1200, okay. The infernal illuminator reveals that that is most hidden. Once you've always made the choices and are passing through again, else it can't show much of anything. Because that's how things work, okay? So maybe that's for a second playthrough. That'll give you some kind of heads up. And the mirror and the bow tie, which is just clothing, but I'm gonna save up my money. I don't have a ton left. So we'll save up and maybe this time I'll try to follow the rules enough to get some more money. All right, we've got eight profiles. Let's flip my coin. I wonder if there's a achievement for just flipping the coin. Let's flip it for a few minutes. All right, no more coin flipping for now, but I'll come back to it. Now on to the cocker. A biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by following a fleeing cat. Yes, cat. Are we saved? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. That's good. Yet it gave me negativity. We'll see why. Oh. Chicken flu vaccine shots now free thanks to a donation from a local business. Four yet to be identified people arrested in a major embezzlement scandal related to Trans Global Inc. Haven't, have I heard of Trans Global Inc? That sounds familiar. I don't know why. If you know why, leave a, leave a comment below and remind me why I think I know that name. Daredevil delivery driver crushed by fallen debris when sudden earthquake strikes Cosmopolis City. Mayor agrees to build a small 50 meter city wall at the border as a sculpture to ages past. Wall would protect against barbarian raids if those still existed. Are we gonna be raided by barbarians? I feel like that might be coming. Local lab tech repeatedly says drop the base while titrating wins comedy award. And CEO of the Watt Watt social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. That's cool. All right, let's read our note. Oh, see, this is ridiculous. Tidings, Grim. Life should not be too predictable, do you not agree? We could use a little bit of alteration and alteration every so often. And I have developed just the thing for it. Every other profile has to die. Now, now, that's not gonna happen. Let's do what we want. And let's shake this guy up so we see where we're at. Okay, so that's where we ended off. There. Wilton Singh, 39, Logistics Coordinator. Wilton is a very proficient logistics coordinator. Their nickname at work is Smooth Operator. They also apply these skills to managing two separate secret families. Don't love that. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like maybe that just affected the house. I didn't like the secret family thing. Loyalty is important. Just not when it's to fate. And not when he calls me a following. Or a, a follower who has no mind of their own. Nisha Basra, 34, geneticist. Nisha is secretly researching the genetical combining of plants and animals. In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears, they also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of spines. So far, the research has been costly, but they believe it's for the greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. I feel like that's dangerous. Oh, good! I saved a bunch- I only have one person on the ground, and this guy's just falling. Oh, it was a medical bag! It wasn't blood, it was a medical bag! Oh, okay. Okay, well that was good. Peace is still up in the sky, so that was a good choice. Erica Valborg, 26, Community Manager. Erica is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office at the Parallax Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist, passionate about getting the very best out of a performance. Why not? Nothing bad there. Oh. Okay. Maybe a little bad there. Maybe, maybe a lot of bad there. But all my people are still alive, so I don't know. Lee Young, 51 housekeeper, they look so sad. Lee is a beloved housekeeper for a traditional household. After the last owner perished, they just stayed put and the next family accepted them with open arms. Lee is also secretly housing their asocial spouse in a secret room in the attic. They're deathly allergic to peanuts. Oh, good. Yay, peace. Yay. Good. Gregor Hayel, 31, archaeologist. Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider, consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Faradin region. I don't know on that one. I'm going to wait. Elil Ninetti, 30, Scholar. A true scholar, Elil is trying to integrate different disciplines in order to uncover the truths of the world. They live the life of science, searching for the universal theory of, every, of everything. It's not going very well, as there are many holes yet to be patched, but that's what makes it fun. Live. And my people are back on the ground. They're back on the ground. Ah, see, that makes me think maybe he shouldn't be digging up the tombs. Let's see. Holland Negan, 30, burglar. Once during a routine burglary, Holland got attacked by a kid who was unintentionally left behind by their vacationing family. Oh, Holland Negan. Is that a name from Home Alone? This occurrence made them appreciate the quiet days far more. Usually they leave a clean house behind, sometimes even doing the dishes. I kind of want to live. Okay, I think that was just a throwaway one. But that was fun. Okay, and... Sisanyu Faraha, 55, shopkeeper. Frustrated with the bland condiment section at the local grocery stores, Sisanyu opened a shop to sell specialty cooking ingredients. Now people can cook dishes originating from all around the globe. Live. Oh, and that brought the people back up. See, I reversed, I reversed my damage. And now I hopefully don't ruin it all with the last one. Okay, um, let me see the, let me see the cocker again, maybe. Yeah, nothing really helped. Oh wait, planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Okay, so maybe that was a hint, so Liv? Ah, that hurt the piece. I think it maybe helped the house, though. All right. All right. There were a lot there that kind of fell in the middle to me, so I don't know. I don't know if those were clear-cut answers. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking, 
Okay. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. Oh. One that will explain everything. Cool. Can I read it? Certainly. Once it is finished, Aww. you will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. I'm glad we're tight like that, Fate. Anyway, we have some official business to uh -oh. take care of, yes? Uh, a tedium of profiles. Hmm. Alas, you have marked fewer deaths than necessary. Yeah. A reprimand will be noted down. Darn it. Let not your attention be diverted from the tasks at hand. Be attentive. I'm being more attentive than you. You're just picking random ways to kill people, not caring about the good of the snow globe. I care about the snow globe. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Ooh. And I get no money. I wonder if too many reprimands ends the game though. So maybe I need to be a little more careful to try to balance it out. Oh right, I already saw these. I saw those things. Okay, going back up. End the day. All right. Back to work. Let's see. I have seven profiles. Flip my coin. And check the cocker. Okay, a lot of things. Ooh, dozens of jobs lost after catastrophic cargo mismanagement. These two had no idea they were married to the same person. Until this funeral dispute. Ooh. That is a rough situation. Parents beware, death. Parents beware, death metal artists may be trying to summon demons. Oh, that's why the piece went down. Oops. Um, historians warn, artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war-torn Faradin. I say the architect, not the architect, the archeologist. That's the right word. We have to do something about the looting that's re-escalating the conflict. Okay. So close to the answer, I hear the notes, but the arrangements is wrong. One day I'll show them. One day the whole world will know. And the military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO. Oh, that's great. That's exciting. Okay, let's see. Great. The last three humans coming from the facts have to die? Okay, I don't know who that is, but maybe let's actually try to kill three so that I don't get too far off track that I the game could end. So let's see. Chippo Iwo Solarin, 38, sports nutritionist. For years, Chippo has been interested in what effects different diets have on people. Lately, they have been working with the best of national athletes, helping to improve their competitive performance. Okay, that seems pretty good. So right now, that's a temporary live. Oh, this is probably the first female CEO. Theophania Einer, 40 CEO. Theophania is the latest heir of the Einer family. The family started off providing security almost 100 years ago with their initial monitor C consulting firm. Over time, they have acquired a number of factories and grew into the arms-providing conglomerate now known as Sundower Security Services. Okay, so they sell guns. That's not great. But they are the first female CEO. Okay, we'll leave that one. That's in the middle. Kalia Fieldspar, 40, biology teacher. Kalia teaches biology at an evening school for adults. It's much less frustrating than teaching over-energized teenagers at a regular high school. It can actually be pretty fun because they can go out drinking with their students. Everyone's an adult there after all. Oh, these are all falling much more in the middle. Okay, maybe in the middle of those two. Titus Grohm, 33 retired. Titus is the latest heir of a noble pedigree. As such, they managed to retire young due to all the inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant... I'm just gonna say bliss. We're gonna make the word bliss. I don't know. There. Ishir Malik, 39, dairy farmer. 
Ashir noticed their cows were acting strange. Then the milk started getting a green tinge and the taste could only be described as like licking a battery. Despite the protests of their spouse, they've always been keen to investigate any and all oddities life throw their way. I want to save him because I feel like they should investigate that. Oh, okay. So that helped nature hurt housing and hurt the people. Okay. Ami Morin Podge. 35 Poacher. Ami is a gifted hunter who has recently found a way to make a decent living with this skull. Nope. Hmm. I'm surprised more didn't go up after that. It's okay, so I've got one alive, one dead. And lastly, Brian Chu. 89 retired. Brian lived an exciting and joyous life up until retirement. When everything started going downhill, life became rough, sad, and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone, their pets have died, nothing seems to be going right at all, and yet they keep living. Um, I feel like maybe they're ready to go. Yeah, peace. Okay, so then I only have to kill one more, so who do I want it to be? So let's save the sports nutritionist. Oh! Okay, that didn't, that wasn't great. Let's save the biology teacher. Okay, that helped the housing. And then I'd like to save the female CEO. The guns worry me. Ah, yeah, I should have known that would hurt peace. So then I have to kill the retired guy. Oh, but that made my housing grow, so that's good. Did more people die? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's where it was. At least peace is still flying. This is my biggest worry, definitely down there. Okay, so I killed three, like I was supposed to. Who knows if they were the last three to come out of the facts. But I feel good with that choice. Going up. Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right. The daily... <sighs> Always in positions when I have important research to perform. Sorry to bother you. Uh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Yay? Yes. That should suffice, I imagine. Hey, can I ask you some more questions, questions. maybe? Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. Oh, I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Maybe I can be your inspiration. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. That's pretty deep and meaningful. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Okay. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. But what if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. I personally don't believe that. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. Not according to my snow globe. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. What if the afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange, monstrous gods? Grim. Achievement unlocked. Meet your unmaker. <laughs> that is just... stupid. Do you think mortals have some drive because towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? Uh, something of the like, yes. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Hmm. Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. I think that's kind of a cool answer. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. That doesn't stop art and literature from trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization. 
As humans feel the ever-present breath of death. Yet Fate himself is also trying to develop art. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity, carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. Hmm. At least until all matter ceases to be. When's that going to happen? Hmm. Any day now. Uh... Any other questions? Yeah, I got Grand. nothing. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. Maybe I inspired him. Here we got my 400. So let's go down and check on Mortimer and see with the extra cash if there's anything I want to buy. I'm going to get the fidget spinner. Well, blow me down, lad. Yeah. Tis the arcane fippledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. Oh, that's amazing. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bumps. Found its scale in a tower. Used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough. <laughs> Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. I'm definitely a fidgeter. I am a person who definitely cannot stand still. And sometimes we all need a good distraction, which this game definitely is more than a good distraction. This, I think, has been my favorite part so far, just because I've gotten, and I think it's because I, you know, the game got me out of my headspace of, oh, you have to fulfill the task and do the right thing. And now that I'm actually reading the profiles in a different way, it makes me pay a lot more attention. So I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked this video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and I will see you for the next one. Bye!